It's weak, but it's there to tie little time pips that you hear. This is the RWM Moscow Russia time signal, 14996 kilohertz CW mode. Sometimes you'll notice that it's there in another way. I was tuning around with the XH data, and when I was tuned to uh, WWV15 megahertz, you could hear the time pips. Those little pips that you hear are the RWM time pips creeping in the WWV signal. So if you're on 15, on 10, or on 5 megahertz, and you hear these little pips like this, you're probably hearing RWM just 4 kilohertz below, which is 4996, 9996, 14996. So that's kind of interesting. Of course, the ICOM has... Um, single sideband capabilities so I can tune it directly here It goes through a cycle. There's fast time pips like you hear now. There's a con continuous carrier and there's also a one second time pip and some Morse code identification with RWM and Morse code being sent out as an ID. Uh, depending on the cycle, what time you are in that cycle uh, while you're listening. So RWM time signal in Moscow, Russia received in the middle of nowhere in a park with telescopic. In this case on the ICOM ICR30, but you did hear it also on the XH data D109 uh, while I was listening to WWV. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.